Hello and welcome to Math for Juniors with me, Miss Marx, and my assistant, Snail. Miss Marx, do I smell a um, yummy pizza? Oh yes, Snail. Now tell me, if I take out one piece out of six pizza pieces, how can we count it? Well, it's one piece out of six, so... Snail, have you forgotten? When we need to count the parts of something, we use fractions. Miss Marks, when I eat pizza, I don't share. So I never look at the number of parts. Oh, Snail, I'll have to brush up your concepts about fractions. Let's go into the virtual world now to see how many types of fractions there are and what we can do with them. In this module, you will learn about the following types of fractions. Unit fractions, like fractions, unlike fractions, proper fractions, improper fractions. Unit fractions are those fractions which have 1 as numerator. 1 by 5 is a unit fraction in which 1 out of 5 equal parts is yellow in color. Can you tell me about the fraction of the flowers that are white in color? 1 by 7 of the flowers are white in color. The second type of fraction is like fractions. These are the fractions having same denominator. Example, 2 by 8 and 3 by 8. Both fractions have 8 as their denominator. Unlike fractions are those which have different denominators. 3 by 8 and 2 by 4 are unlike fractions because they have 8 and 4 as their denominators. Fractions whose numerators are less than the value of their denominators are called proper fractions. The value of proper fractions is less than 1. As you can see, in 2 by 7, numerator 2 is less than 7. So, it's a proper fraction. Fractions whose numerators are greater than the value of their denominators are called improper fractions. The value of an improper fraction is greater than 1. 8 by 5 is an improper fraction, having 8 as numerator, which is greater than the denominator. Welcome back from virtual world to real world. Look at the colorful balls in the two containers here. Snail, how would you represent them as fractions? Well, Miss Marks, in jar A we have 10 balls in all. 5 in green and 5 in blue. So, if I take out the 5 green ones, we have 5 by 10, isn't it? Yes, now in jar B, you have 6 balls in all. 3 red and 3 blue. And if you take out red ones, you will write it as 3 by 6. That's right, Miss Max. But what is the connection between the two fractions? Snail, these represent equivalent fractions. Equivalent? But Miss Max, they are different, not equal. Jar A is 5 by 10 and Jar B is 3 by 6. Look again, Snail. In jar A, you have half balls in green and jar B, you have half balls in red. If you simplify 5 by 10, it becomes half and if you simplify 3 by 6, it also becomes half. That is equivalent fraction for you. Let's get to the virtual world to learn how to find equivalent fractions. There are two possibilities in order to find the equivalent fraction with given denominator or numerator. Let's take one by one. Case 1. To find the equivalent fraction with a higher numerator or denominator, look at the example of case 1. In step 1, check for the higher numerator or denominator in the given fractional number. Divide the higher denominator, that is 16, with the lower denominator, that is 4, to obtain the quotient. Here, 4 is the quotient. In step 3, 
multiply the numerator and the denominator of the given fractional number 3 upon 4 by the quotient obtained in step 2 that is 4. Hence, the equivalent fraction of 3 by 4 is 12 by 16. Now consider case 2. To find the equivalent fraction with a lower numerator or denominator, look at the example of case 2. In step 1, check for the lower numerator or denominator in the given fractional number. Here, the lower numerator is 5. In step 2, divide the higher numerator that is 20 with the lower numerator that is 5 to obtain the quotient. Here, 4 is the quotient. In step 3, divide the numerator and the denominator of the given fractional number 20 upon 8 by the quotient obtained in step 2, that is 4. Hence, the equivalent fraction of 20 by 8 is 5 by 2. And once again, we are back from the virtual world. Hey Snail, where are the pizza boxes I got for us? Miss Marks, fractions always make me hungry. I almost finished the first box. But that's wonderful. Look at what we have over here. An improper fraction. Miss Marks. See now, we have one of six pieces left. That is, one by six. Then we have all the six pieces from another box. That is, six by six. Add them and you get an improper fraction. That is, seven by six. Let's learn about it in the virtual world. Now you will learn how to convert improper fractions into mixed fractions. Suppose we have an improper fraction 11 by 5. To convert this into mixed fraction, follow these steps. In the first step, divide the numerator that is 11 by the denominator that is 5. On dividing 11 by 5, we obtain 2 as the quotient and 1 as the remainder. In the next step, write the quotient that is 2 as a whole number of the mixed fraction. Remainder that is 1 as the numerator and 5 which is the divisor as the denominator of the fractional part of the mixed fraction. So, the fraction obtained is a mixed fraction. Hence, the mixed fraction of the improper fraction 11 by 5 is 2 and 1 by 5. So, that was about mixed and improper fractions. Mixed fractions? Get me a little mixed, Miss Max. <laughs> you need to go back to the basics. Always keep in mind, fractions are parts of a whole. They don't show how large the whole is, but instead, they show part of the whole. I am lost! <laughs> you are impossible! Forget it! Let's explore the interesting facts about the evolution of fractions. Do you know that the Egyptians were one of the earliest people on earth to study fractions? That's right. Fractions are as old as 1600 BC. In fact, the Egyptians were very creative about how they represented fractions. They used hieroglyph script. A structure similar to open mouth was used for writing fractions. When this symbol was used with numeral, it meant part and it was placed about the numeral much as a line segment. The various Egyptian fractions were written as However, fractions other than unit fractions were written as the sum of unit fractions. For example, 3 by 5 was written as the sum of unit fractions half and 1 by 10. 
Here, the feet pointing towards the direction of writing represents the operation of addition, whereas if it would have been in opposite direction had meant subtraction. That's clever, isn't it? Come now, it's time to run along and take a memory jog to refresh our understanding of fractions. Unit fractions are the fractions which have 1 as a numerator. Fractions with same denominators are called like fractions. Fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions. Fractions with numerators less than the denominator are called proper fractions. Fractions where the numerator is more than denominator are called improper fractions. Equivalent fractions are those fractions that may look different but have the same values. To convert improper fractions into mixed fractions, we first divide numerator by a denominator and then write quotient as the whole number of the mixed fraction. Remainder as numerator and divisor as the denominator of the fractional part of the mixed fraction. And that's all we have for you on fractions. So now I can go back to my pizza and eat. Uh, uh, but Miss Marks, I ate it all. There is zero left. Snail, I think I told... Zero, did you say that? Oh, that reminds me, did I tell you that a fraction with zero in the numerator equals zero? Yes, and a fraction with zero in the denominator is undefined or meaningless. I got it, Miss Marks. So keep counting until we meet next time. Goodbye.